Hi, I'm Phil Eby with Ames Construction, and we're here today at the beautiful Belmont Shops in Lancaster, PA, for another edition of our Get to Know Ames series. We love this opportunity to introduce you to members of our great team, to our outstanding owners, who, uh, without whom we wouldn't have work, and uh, our outstanding trade partners who do a great job helping us deliver jobs on time, on budget, and built right. I'm Phil Eby with Ames Construction and really excited to be here tonight at the Belmont Shops in Lancaster with Kevin Lawn and Steve Burridge. Kevin's with uh, Waters Retail Group, Steve with Ames Construction. We're just really excited to introduce them to you that you can learn a little bit more about what they do, who they are, and learn about their relationship uh, spanning many years. So that's enough from me. <laughs> Kevin, uh, Tell me a little bit about yourself, your background, what you do at RJ Waters. Sure. My name is Kevin Lawn, as Phil has said, and I am a vice president with Waters Retail Group. We're based in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. I've been with them over 35 years, and I started out as an intern down in Columbia, South Carolina, where I attended the University of South Carolina. I was a real estate major, and I also went for my master's in real estate, and I was pretty close to graduating when I got a call up to Pennsylvania to work for Bob Waters nice. uh, as an intern for a couple of weeks, and a couple of weeks turned into a couple of months, and 35 years later, I'm still here. Uh, what, what's a typical day look like to you, and what, what do you do with your time? Well, we're a really small company. We have about 10, 12 people in our office. So being such a small company, we have to be jack of all trades. So not only do I get involved in real, retail leasing, retail development, and property management, I'm also, um, get involved in marketing, accounting, uh, work with the engineers, I work with architects, so whatever it takes. Yeah. Um, we never have the same day twice. Yeah. I may have like some items lined up to do in the office and then I'll get a call from a prospective tenant that wants to see space at one of our shopping centers. So I have to drop everything and run out to the shopping center and show them the space and hopefully put a deal together with yeah. them. You have to be able to live with uh, loose ends, I imagine. Exactly. Things always yes, come. Picked up a lot of pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great. Thank it's you. It's great, yeah. Steve, you've been with Ames almost 40 years. To now you're 36. One, one, 36, one of our owners. Yeah. What was your role when you started, and how has it evolved up until what you do now? Well, I started at Ames in 1986. Uh, actually, it was the year I got married. And uh, my role when I started there, I, I applied for a draftsman project manager slash estimator job. I graduated from Millersville with an industrial arts degree in a teaching field and just decided not to go into teaching. Okay. And uh, Jim Stauffer, who I interviewed with, and it was the president of the company, hired me for uh, the project management estimating position. Mm -hmm. And at that time, we did some design build projects. So I also did some architectural drafting. I did a lot of that in college. So we had some projects, we did a design build, so I drew most of the plans. Then wow. we worked with architects and engineers mm -hmm. to uh, stamp the plans and make them ready for uh, the township and the permits. And, and how it evolved through that, I uh, started running projects. And when I started there for almost 20 years, at Ames, we were the estimator on a project. So if we would build one of Kevin's projects, I would estimate it, work with Kevin, sell the job, and then when the job was sold, contracts were written, then I would buy the project out, become the project manager, buy out all the subcontractors. Mm -hmm. My role rolled into being a senior project manager, and now I'm the vice president of uh, construction management and one of the partners there. And now I manage all the project management and estimator. Okay. So you're an, you're an owner, <laughs> but you're an active working owner, as are the other owners at Ames, which I think is a really uh, just an exceptional thing about Ames. <clears throat> Tell us about what it's like to have good relationships, the importance of relationships within our industry and what we do. I think um, from a developer standpoint, slash landlord's uh, standpoint, um, we really re rely on our contractors. We get calls all the time from prospective tenants that want to go into a, one of our shopping centers. Yeah. And um, it's important for us to get an idea of what the cost would be to fit out the space for the tenant. Mm -hmm. And it's really important because like, we do a lot of deals with national tenants, like here at Belmont, we have a Carter's and Oshkosh. Yeah. And a lot of times they give you a delivery date, you gotta hit that delivery date. Yeah. And if you don't, there'll be penalties. Uh -huh. And we wanna avoid penalties at all costs. So sure. um, Steve and Ames, uh, over the 35 years that we've worked together, 
They've never let us down. We've never had a, a penalty that was in, we had mm -hmm. to incur. Our success has been tied to Ames, to Stephen Ames mm -hmm. construction. Without them, I don't think we'd be as successful as we are today, that's for sure. Wow, that's really cool to hear. About you, Steve, any thoughts on that? I think uh, from day one, Ames, when I was there, was building relationships. Waters Retail Group being one of the biggest ones that we've had. And in addition to those relationships, I think relationships with all our contractors, because the most important part of our part of the phase of the construction is building yeah. a great team. Yeah. And if we don't have good relationships with the owners slash subcontractors the whole way through, sure. the project's not going to make it. I think working with Kevin, when Kevin was talking about doing the budgets and what have you, you know, when I get a landlord's work letter is what we call it, uh, for a tenant and we're just budgeting off a work letter, the relationship we've built in those 35 years, I know what Kevin wants. So mm -hmm. I think that's vital in the, the yeah. industry and it's, and it's unheard of. So I, I compliment Kevin and his partners to believe in that team and that relationship. Tell us a little bit more about how you guys met, um, how your relationship developed. Um, again, both of you, how long ago was that? You know, when did you first get to know each other? And talk a little bit about your relationship. <laughs> well, we started around the same time, I guess, okay. with our company. Yeah. Our first project we worked on together was the Goshen Crossing Shopping Center in Westchester. Yeah. Okay. It was only like a 21,000 foot center, so it was really small, but it was the first center I developed from ground up. Okay. Our co company had an, a relationship with Steve's company before we were involved. With, Okay. Involved. And so when it was time to start looking at building this little shopping center, um, they asked me to work with Steve uh -huh. and Steve helped. Um, we had a, a thrift drug and uh, we had a convenience store and they give us their specs and Steve budget priced those out. And we wound up building this, the center and Steve worked really good. What really impressed me was Steve and Ames as a whole were very well for our tenants, especially mm -hmm. the smaller tenants, because a lot of them, it's their first time they've ever done a store, okay. and yeah. they're a little naive, but the Ames have been really good with them, and and, mm -hmm. and it worked out really well. And then from, from that center, we went on to do Fairfield Place Shopping Center in Exton, okay. which was 300,000 feet. So we went from 20,000 feet all the way up to 300,000 wow, feet. Wow, that's a big yeah, jump. Definitely. <laughs> And then over the course of time, we've done over a dozen shopping centers uh -huh. from ground up, and we've renovated some of them. 35 years, some of the centers we built yeah. needed to be renovated. So yeah. we went ahead and renovated those. Uh -huh. And uh, so it's, it's been a great relationship, and I really enjoy working with Steve. And uh, I'm so lucky and blessed to be able to have a relationship with Steve and Ames. And uh, in fact, Ames built my house. Oh, right. <laughs> when, when it was time to build my house, uh -huh. I, didn't, I, I put the property under option, and then I called up Ames, and I said, I want to build a house. Um, but I don't trust any uh, housing contractors. I want you guys to do it. Uh -huh. And Ames never built a house before. Yeah. And it turned out great. We have a beautiful house on the, on the golf course. P part of the payback <laughs> is I host a Final Four basketball party every year. Oh, yeah. First Saturday in April. And Steve and his wife and uh, a lot of the Ames uh, people all come to the party. So mm -hmm. it's not like, to me, it feels like it's not just my house. It's mm -hmm. Ames' house mm -hmm. as well. That's great. That's great to hear. Anything you want to add, Steve, or thoughts on that? No, no, Kevin's exactly right. The first project that I did run as, you know, pretty much by myself and Jim left me kind of out on my own was West Goshen Shopping Center. And I, I will say, you know, it was so smooth working with Kevin. Well, that's a good segue into where we're at today at Belmont Shops. I mean, it's just a beautiful center, great shopping, great dining. It's just been a great asset in our community here in Lancaster. Thank you, Phil. This is kind of a signature project for, for both of you guys. Can you tell us a little bit about Belmont? Well, I think you would agree that this is probably the highlight of both of our careers. It, it, it most definitely was the highlight of my career to be part of this project. It was really important that this project come out looking really good and being successful because not only are our partners who live in Lancaster are here, yeah. but also Ames is based here too. And, and our site contractor, B.R. Kreider, is based here and mm. a lot of the subcontractors were based here as well so uh -huh. everybody took a, a personal pride and get an extra oomph yeah. to make this center happen and it sure. wasn't easy it took us nine years mm. from the time we put the property under option to the time we opened the doors on 30 stores about nine years it, it was, did a great job we um <laughs> we hit rock when we were uh, pouring the footing so we had to uh -huh. blast some rock out of there and then we built part of the store on a quarry which was filled with water yeah so we had to fill that in and then also we um, needed a, a piece of electric equipment, which we couldn't source locally. And the deadline was coming up. And uh, so we went, uh, Ames subcontractor in Chamonix Electric, 
uh, found the equipment down in Texas. Wow. So we had the supplier drive it up personally and we had it installed like days before we had to make our delivery date. Wow, so nine years, really a lot, so much of it waiting for approvals and then just the challenges of building. Steve, tell us a little bit more about construction joys and challenges and you know. Uh, I mean, Belmont, it was an honor to be part of the team. Yeah. Uh, it truly really was, I think I said that already. Uh, and the importance of that team, and Kevin's mentioned, B. Arc Ryder yeah. and the RGS, Bernard and Architects, all of our quality subcontractors we have here. Mm -hmm. I mean, without that team, this project would have never happened. And without the backing mm -hmm. of Kevin and Waters, it, it, it wouldn't have happened as smoothly as it did. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it, it was a tight schedule. Uh, and one thing I can say about Kevin's company, Waters, they build centers, they're nice centers. Yeah and they treat their tenants, and I've been around different developers. Yeah. The, by far, Water Retail Group treats their tenants like the best they could ever they could uh, be treated. For this project, the, the 30 or so years of experience working together prior really paid off. Oh, absolutely. Uh, big David Ends. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and we sat in, uh, part of the team, we sat into meetings, well, I would say a year to two years. Yeah. We would go down to the architect's office and, and each building we have here, the unique part of this project was all the separate buildings. Yeah. Uh, the, the square footage is big enough, but then you're building separate buildings. Right. And we're trying to build them all pretty much at the same time. Yeah. Right. Uh, but going into the detail of each building, it probably was one to two years we sat in yeah. and did that and you know looked at the cornice. Yeah. But we had a lot of those details, I think, ironed out. Uh -huh. I mean, we had our superintendent and one other project manager sit in in those meetings. So yeah. when we're starting, the project manager that was running the big stores, he knew it was happening. Yeah. It wasn't like he was getting those prints sure. and then starting to go. Well, that's great. I, I uh, Before we wrap up here, I just would encourage anyone, if you haven't, please check out the Belmont Shops. It's just a beautiful center and, again, great place to shop and eat um, at and all live, levels. And live. And live. <laughs> yeah, on the other side, right. On the east side, there's townhomes and apartments. And, and houses, uh, some single-family houses, really too. Really is yeah. a great spot. So just wrapping up here, is there anything either of you would like to add? You've, you've shared so much already. It's been really good. Just as far as about relationship, about your companies, any, any final thoughts? Steve has been, I mean, since I moved here to Pennsylvania, Steve's become one of my best friends. And I got married back in 2007 in Miami. And Steve and his wife Ann came down for the wedding and I really appreciate their support. Mm. And, um, Yep. 35 years went so fast. I can't believe it. We, we, since then, you know, we've got had kids and grand, we have, now we have grandkids. Yeah. And uh, but um, everybody keeps asking me when I want to retire, and Steve, same thing. Yeah. And I don't know. We, we have a good thing going. Yeah. So why, why mess? <laughs> I mess with it. I would say the same thing. Kevin has become one of my best friends, and, and uh, the idea of me even leaving Ames one time. The relationships that I've built, especially with Kevin, mm. that would probably keep me at Ames quicker than anything. I mean, mm. it's my, I'm a relationship type of person, and the relationship I've built with our Waters and, and then and that. And going down to Kevin's wedding was awesome. I actually got to go to Joe Waters' wedding, who's yeah. now the president of our mm -hmm. Waters Retail Group, yeah, right. uh, and had a great time there. Uh, my kids, Amanda and Shane, grew up with me talking about Kevin. Uh, Shane visited some job sites with us. Yeah. I, it's just been a great run for 35 yeah. And I think Kevin and I are kind of you know, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. And <laughs> we work for the same company yeah, since college. <laughs> yeah. You know, we stayed there and we, you know, and I think that helped both of our businesses. Yeah. Really, it has. Once you get comfortable with somebody, you know, it's easier to work. Yeah. Same thing with, you know, we work with the same site contractors like BR Kreider. Yeah and building contractors of Ames, and they use a lot of the same subcontractors too. I mean, they bid it out, yeah. but at the end of the day, they want to make sure that the subcontractor does the job. Not only are their prices you know, competitive, but they have to yeah. be able to have confidence that they can get the job done on time. Yeah, and, and, and nice. building what we, being into retail and building a lot of retail, we know it's important to hit tight schedules. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Christmas and Valentine's Day. So on time, on budget, built right. Right. And that's really, that is our goal at Ames, and I know that's your goal. And, and the, the, Keep everybody I happy. I appreciate <laughs> the built right part because not every developer shares that philosophy. And, and, uh, and yet, you know, for the long term, that's, that's the only way to go. And I just appreciate your time. I just want to applaud both of you as just great examples of, of professionalism and yet done in relationship, caring about people, you know, doing things right. And uh, I think you represent... Uh, 
your industries, you know, the, the retail industry and, and the construction industry as well as anyone could. And so I appreciate all your work and uh, just thanks for your time today. Our, 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 our pleasure, our pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.